right, we've had a few snowflakes this week across Oklahoma. Mostly it was sleet and freezing rain. We get so many pictures when we get these beautiful snowflakes to fall. And sometimes, just like Kurt Stevenson, you can capture those. This is an older picture that I had in the computer from one of our snowstorms in the past. But let's talk about how these ice crystals form up in the cloud deck. So up in the clouds, you've got a lot of water mo molecules bouncing around. Water, of course, some H2O. The molecule is shaped like this. It interacts with a dust particle. That's a very super cold area. And when that happens, it starts to freeze on contact. You start to get a collection of those water molecules together. And eventually, they bond together and start to form a hexagon, just because that's kind of the shape already of the water molecule. As you get more of them mixing together, bonding together, it starts to form a larger hexagon. And you start to see the form of an ice crystal. The more water molecules you get, the more that ice crystal starts to become more apparent. And eventually, the little dendrites start to form, which, by the way, means arms. And that's those little six sides that are beautiful. No two snowflakes alike. Of course, when the air is colder, you get a different shape. And that looks more like a needle or a plate, it's called. But these are my favorite, the dendrites. They're gorgeous. Hope that helps.